Well, hey, you might be asking, what the hell is Barracuda Buzz doing now? Well, we're doing one of the most difficult, most thought out, but most exciting part of the car. And that is the assembly! Yes, that's right. One of the things that takes the most prep, work, organization, but preparation is key. You must make sure that you do your homework and that you check off your list and you make sure that your parts are ordered. You make sure what parts you need to restore still, paint, clean up, etc., etc. You know the bing bang water boom. And I'm telling you right now that it is a very, very, very intense job. I've been up since about three this morning, maybe earlier than that, going through everything. and. I'll tell you, it's, it's a lot of work. But I'm gonna tell you how to do your project and how I'm doing it and my past experiences. This ain't my first car, this ain't my first rodeo. I'm gonna show you how I think the best way of doing it is and that's being organized. One of the first things is to start preparing your list of parts. As you can see, I started going off and checking off things that I've already placed orders on and or found. These are things that you're going through inventory and you might have misplaced somewhere. Now I also did a second list, which is a start assembly. But we're going on preparation right now. And the main thing is just being like anything, making movies, pre-production is the most important part. I make sure that I got my catalogs, which I deal with year one, and I got my markers, as you can see, and highlighted areas, as you can see, of what I need. Also, the second thing is, is manuals. You gotta have manuals. I got more books inside, but these are outside in my shop right now. And this is what I'm going over just to do it before you right now. The next thing is this, because I have not touched or built an engine in 15 years, at least was the last engine I did. So what do you do? You refresh your memory with one of the main books, if the, the main book that I learned how to build engines on, Mopars especially, um, and that was this one. And I just found it and I'm going over. You can see it's been used and abused and highlighted in, in areas there where I went through once, twice, three times as a lady. The next thing is, is also new material, which I found this, which I never went through or read. So that's my little spiel there on organizing. Like you can see behind me, setting up in aisles, everything that you lay down in sections my gas tank is the fuel system, the entire fuel system, everything that needs to be done in there, including seals, gaskets, whatever. I have electric harness over here where the green sign is. All my electrical parts are right there. The entire harness, actually two harnesses, and I might still have to order a f***ing harness, harnesses, Ziz, yes, that's right, about a grand worth of wiring, if not more, because these harnesses might not be good. My other parts here that literature, literature, any literature, anything that you have that's separated, put in with that section of parts that it's on. It makes things a lot easier because when you box this stuff up and set this stuff up on your shelves, it'll make things just much more easier. The entire brake system here, as you can see, everything, everything that I got that's needed, and I got to still go through to make sure I got. Everything. I got even two double of everything, which is nuts on some of this insulation shit. Because I bought stuff 15 or uh, 20 years ago, didn't use it, and then I forgot I had it and I ordered this shit, other shit, like eight years ago. Now I come to my dash. My dash pad is in the basement. My other stuff is organized here. I gotta start getting this stuff cleaned up and painted. I got literature because I don't know where to start off at, but I got a good idea right now, and this stuff shows you as it's a being assembled, okay? And then of course, what do we got on that CUDA? What do we show? That's right, a half a mile, tested, zero. Every gauge cleaned up and redone, rechecked, and everything from a reputable company, which I forgot who the f was. And then of course, yes, the dash speaker, which always sucks, right? Well, guess what? They sell these aftermarket ones now and Kenwood makes an awesome one that sounds beautiful and you gotta go with it. Okay, this hasn't been gone through yet, but this is lists of nuts and bolts. And let me tell you, this is what you gotta go through. Everything's numbered, and this is just, piles of this stuff, right? Number 19, what's that for? Number 19, side marker light lens screws. Well, bloody well, I, I was just getting ready to order that too because, well, wait a minute, what do we have here? 
See, this is why I need to do this, because I just ordered a set of red ones, and I got brand new red and amber, amber ones right here. What the hell are they doing in there? I don't know. That's why you, I still got to go through all this shit. And that's right. Make sure you do it, and do it right, because if not, you're going to be in a world of shit after all the work that we went through, or you went through, in doing your project.